Hey, welcome back to The Dive. Today on the show, we welcome back the CEO of Hertz Lithium, Cal Malhi. Cal's joining us today to share his take on the current state of the lithium market from recent M&A activity heating up to new exciting investments in the space. He's also going to talk about Hertz's unique investment opportunities and their new extraction technology out of Penn State University. So stay tuned. Hey, Cal, welcome back to The Dive. Thank you so much for joining us today. Good morning, Cassandra. Thanks for having me again. Okay, so Cal, investment continues to flow into the lithium space. We've seen General Motors complete a second $330 million round into Lithium Americas, and perhaps more significantly, Stellantis has invested $90 million into a very early stage Argentinian explorer. Do you think that big investments in the space will continue, or have we reached the peak? I believe, Cassandra, we're at the start of um, mega plants, battery plants being built. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware, recently Quebec announced an agreement for Northvolt to build a, a lithium battery plant in Quebec. And that's tied to um, that plant has to use lithium from Quebec in, in its manufacturing. So I think those kind of plants will continue as we see the electric vehicles take off, especially now with the price of gas going back up. I think that makes um, the um, the turning into electric vehicles more, um, more of a rush for uh, consumers. Now, M&A activity in the industry has also been active, with Tech Petrol upping its bid for Alpha Lithium and Lithium Chile disclosing it has engaged financial advisors to evaluate expressions of interest. Much of this, however, appears to be focused in South America. Why do you think this is? I think South America was an earlier start in the lithium exploration phase. Um, Canada's just recently come on in the last two years with James Bay, obviously with Hard Rock. Hard Rock has been more recent focus for Canadians. Australians were always into Hard Rock, but um, I think Canadian Hard Rock is now coming into its own. Okay, now let's turn the discussion to Hertz Lithium. You recently announced some M&A activity of your own the acquisition of Canuck Lithium and its assets in the James Bay region of Quebec. What can you tell us, Cal? Sandra, we listed Hertz Lithium with our Lucky Mica project back in April, but our goal was always to build Hertz Lithium into a diversified lithium exploration company, not with just one project. So with the Canuck Lithium, we've acquired a 270 square kilometer project in James Bay near Patriot Battery Metals, um, largest North American lithium deposit. The, um, the property we've acquired is intermingled with ground that Rio Tinto has. So we're joining Rio Tinto in James Bay with a district scale project now. What exploration plans do you have for the property? We have a um, ground crew going onto the ground in, in about a week. We've outlined some really strong targets from some radiometrics and uh, spectral imaging. And our goal is to hit those targets before the uh, winter sets in. So we've kind of rushed a crew to get onto the ground in a week or so. Now, on top of the James Bay assets, Hertz also recently optioned a Brazilian-based pegmatite project. And of course, you mentioned you still have the Lucky Mica project in Arizona. Is the intention to focus on progressing these projects concurrently, or is there a phased approach? No, Xandra, our goal is to go concurrent with all three. And then as each one advances, um, we may focus on one and spin others out. But our goal right now is to hit the all three projects and see what we get on those and, um, and then base our decision on what our findings are. Now, Hertz recently announced that it's advancing its lithium extraction tech to the next phase of development. What can you tell us? Sandra, and as I said, I wanted to make Hertz a diversified lithium place. So rather than just my mineral exploration, we license a technology from Penn State to, um, to make uh, extraction of lithium from hard rock more economical, more environmentally friendly. And that's what we're doing with Penn State. And as deposits get um, discovered for hard rock lithium, the technology has to come up and meet it. And that's what we're doing with Penn State is refining the technology to make it more efficient, more environmentally friendly. Okay, so Cal, before we let you go here, 
What should investors look forward to over the coming months with Hertz Lithium? With Hertz Cassandra, we've built a portfolio of mineral exploration projects as well as the technology. But over the last six weeks, we've also put together a very strong investor relations team. So I believe now with Hertz, we've got a portfolio of assets that are strong. We've got funding in place and we've got an IR team in place that'll take our message to the market. And we plan to have regular news flow starting in uh, November. Okay, sounds great, Cal. Well, uh, thank you so much for coming on and updating us today on Hertz Lithium. It's been a pleasure. Okay, thank you, Cassandra. To our viewers at home, thank you for tuning in today. We will have more content like this coming your way, so be sure to hit that subscribe button below me there so you don't miss out on the next one. Bye.